Hey everybody, it has actually been a little while, but all three of us are now a little bit busier now that the holidays are approaching. So um, we're going to do what we can and um, head into, do our practical exam, beating up Sarah, and then head off to our practical, our, um, not practical exam, but our uh, field study. So as you recall, I picked out um, Reen, Usus, and Machias, and off screen I... I didn't remember that. Oh, well I did. Because... <laughs> Um, because we're the the practical exam is is against Sarah, so I picked these these two so they would have a, a bit of revenge for chapter two when she beat the living crap out of them. Okay. And um, off screen I equipped and uh, courtsed everybody, so we're we're ready to go. <laughs> it would have been funnier to just go in with them completely unequipped, but that's not what I want to do. But then you could have them get their ass kicked by Sarah again. That's true. And but have I, Reen do all the work. But I want to win this one. We can have Reen do all the work. No, remember, I... He doesn't I, need to die. Because I had... Because I equipped Milliam with everything, Reen wasn't equipped with anything either. Or not much, anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it only took me a week to get ready. Mm-hmm. No one reaches low HP, win in 40 turns or less. Or no, less than 40 turns. Okay. That's that's still a pretty long time. It is. What are you doing using the one good ability that Usus has? I know, right? Um, uh, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of rude. It, it is. Here, I'll have him cast spells instead. I would have loved it if Sarah ran out of the uh, targeting yeah, right? circle. Implying that the kid gloves have been on this time, this whole time. Well, yeah. <laughs> she has a gun and a sword. That's true. I have two swords and a gun. Yeah, but only one each. Wait, did she just take two? Yeah, she two um, turns she delayed once? everybody. Oh, is that what that one does? Okay, I guess so. It must. It, we basically we she she made us skip our turns, so. There we go. No. Yeah. Oh, good. It's it's kind of silly that they don't have like off-screen bonding events that increase their. Yeah, performance. no. The only bonding events are with Reen. Yeah. There. See. Continuity. <laughs> Indeed. Aw.
Oh, jeez. Reem. Reem, please. This is the post-Harvey Weinstein era. <laughs> but this is Japan. Are... Are you implying that... J no, like, time zones don't work that way. No, that's not what I'm saying. Right, but Japan is ahead of the U.S. because of the international dateline, so... Oh. It still is. Yeah. Okay, so... The, but the fact that... Japan has much more regressive policies than us, doesn't factor in? Well, I described a time period. Okay, I guess that's fair. See? Oh, and uh, Emma's hair is clipping through her ribbon. Yeah, this is... Well, so's uh, Elisa's. Yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, Elisa's looks more like it could actually be happening. Like, her, her hair could just be above and below it. But, yeah. And it looks like Lord's is too, because this is a pose they probably only used, like, once. Yeah, probably. Hooray! Mm -hmm. Any guesses as to where we're not, going? Not putting the three of them front and center on screen probably would have disguised it better. Yeah. So. Any guesses as to where we're going? We're going to liberal? That would actually be really funny. <laughs> Alright, so group A is... Reen, Elisa, Fee, Machias, Elliot, and Crow, and we're going to Ruhr. And then that group sucks. I know. Then Emma, Laura, Eusis, Gaius, and Milius are going to Ortis, the port city. Also, the big thing I noticed is this chapter isn't going to answer the uh, questions with Emma involving that cat that have been dangling for too long yet either. <laughs> you are not wrong. Because she's not in our fucking group. <laughs> also, yet again, in the even numbered chapter, Reen goes with the exact opposite party that he did in the odd numbered chapter. Oh well, yeah, you have to like it's just making sure that you as the player get to play with whatever non Reen character you like half the time. Sure. And it's easier than doing. Actually, and it's easier, especially parties. for keeping stuff balanced. Yeah. Rather than like shuffling things around, and it would make it would add a lot more uh, constraints if they tried to do it in a way that. Yeah. You know, Sarah probably would rather than the designers. Of course she's not that worried. When does Milliam worry about anything? Uh, Milliam always worries about things. What does she worry about? Uh, not punching things? Alright, I guess that's fair. I'm sorry, man. I choked. I know. Yes, Reen, we've been over this. I guess we haven't been over that one. I can absolutely see that as being the case. Ah. 
What are you strangling a duck? No, this chair's not the best. Oh my god. <laughs> if you want, I could uh I could emphasize it. No, that's fine. Aw. Sarah's being nice and sincere for once. Aww. I think they almost respected her right there. Yeah, almost. I mean, they definitely respected her after she took a hit from, you know, after she took everyone for, you know, multiple days or multiple minutes. No, uh, you didn't get the S. Oh. The, the S is at the end of the chapter. Gotcha. Don't worry, I'm going to get the S. Or I'm going to try my damnedest to get the S. You can just tell me you're going to fail. I'm not intending to fail. But will you? I don't know yet. Hmm. Like I said, I'm going to try my damnedest. Well, that's better than not pulling an all-nighter. That's, I mean, I would say it a bit more strongly than that. What, because he was held back a year? Because he's Crow? Oh. Like, do you have any faith in Crow at all? Yes. You're lying. He nope. will not care. Oh, okay, that's fair. And he'll hit on every available female within a giant radius. Nope. No? I don't think he hit on Sarah, did he? He already knows her. He, he hit on her at one point, clearly. Oh, maybe. Thanks, V. Jeez. That's a haul. That is what an eight-hour train ride would be like. Yeah. Trista. A train out of Trista? <laughs> yeah, you're you're not convincing at all. Uh she's not gonna be there ahead of us because uh we're going to meet with Sarah to pick up a sweet ride. Hmm. Obviously. It's an interesting prediction. Like, it's probably not true, but it would be great. Yeah, Elliot, why'd you oversleep? Globe. <laughs> we still have half an hour. Indeed. I have some last minute preparations which involve ripping everything off of everybody else. Can you not do it after uh they leave? Uh, um I I may be able to do it after they leave, but I want to make sure that I, I I I can't get their equipment off. I know that much. So, I want to make sure if there's any equipment that I haven't taken off of them yet. All right, we're good to go. I haven't equipped my team yet, but I can do that later. Aw. 
That is actually pretty nice. <laughs> Milliam and Yusus are a, a great comedy duo. I can believe that. I don't I don't know that that's necessarily true. Okay, Emma and Laura are buying stuff, so let's check on them real quick. No, we don't have time for bonding events right now. Come we on. We absolutely do. No, I don't want to, didn't want to talk to you again. I want to talk to Okay, fine. Even if we don't have time for bonding events, you know what we absolutely have time for? Why right. Why are we going fishing again? I'm going fishing. But we've caught everything. No, I'm actually missing something. Well, it's not that. That would actually be really awesome if it was. I don't think it is, though. Oh, it doesn't give you the silhouette if it's something you haven't caught? No, it does give you the silhouette. It just doesn't... I have to... You know, it doesn't show you that it's a new silhouette. Necessarily. Well, I mean, that that gives you a full picture, not a silhouette. No, it gives you a full picture, even if it's not something you, even if it's something okay. you haven't caught. It's kind of funny to me that uh, during the fishing, while the uh, what you need to press is transitioning, the fish starts escaping. Yeah. <laughs> Also, that kind of fishing seems really easy. It's pretty easy, yeah. Yeah. I have heard that they make it into an actual mini game in the third one. Spoilers, there's a third one. <laughs> Wasn't that one just announced? No, that's the fourth one. Spoilers, yeah. there's a fourth one. <laughs> no, But re don't worry, we're not telling you if there's a second one. Well, the, the, we already know about the second one. The second one's already out in English. Well, that assumes that the people who uh, watch this LP are obsessed with the game and probably know more about it than most of your co-commentators. Uh, yes. Our viewers know know more than all than both of you combined. Wow, it's true. You have you even finished? Have you played mm -hmm. any more of of second chapter? No. So you're still in chapter one or chapter two? Chapter two. Okay. So you, you're in Zeiss? Maybe it's a, maybe it counts as chapter one. Are you in Zeiss? Maybe I only did the prologue. I don't remember. Are you in Ruan? It's been like five months since I've played. Well, then you should play some more of it. I guess. Thanks, Kat, for giving me a very good item. But, but fuck cat. You fuck cats? That's really weird. Like, that's really weird. No. Just, like, that cat sucks. Oh. Oh, look. Look who's here before us. <laughs> It's fine. Sharon just said she'd see us all. Yeah. Indeed. She didn't say where she'd see us all. Yep. You really shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, they absolutely shouldn't. She's acting as Group A's guide. 
So she is coming with us. Yeah. Was she, uh... Is Elisa in our group this time? Yes. Okay. Oh, they actually had the groups arrive separately. For some reason. <laughs> what is it on her resume? I like it. Always good to check references. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's apparently exactly 9 a.m. Weird. No, it's not. It's past noon. It's 9.20 over here. So it's still past nine? That's true. <laughs> Carry on. So, uh, Yui, what was your prediction? Uh, that we were going to get a sweet ride. I hope it's a motorcycle game. <laughs> that would be great. You want another motorcycle minigame? No, no, no. We just all ride in the uh, sidecars. Oh, okay. Jack's bounty is the most bullshit thing ever. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> yep. I, I don't really get it, because it's not, it's not a game at this point. It's just a jigsaw puzzle. Like... Where you yeah. keep having to roll the dice until you get a hand worthy of it. And even then, some, like, some decks just can't beat it. No, I know. And I, I just I, I guess I don't get the point of it. Like, why um, would they include something? A lot of times something? in those sorts of games, those really hard decks or all that are included to either give people a reason to make sort of gimmick decks to beat them or to be able to challenge... Um, people with full collections and so, not just let them, you know, this steamroll is, everything with a tournament quality deck. A tournament well, quality that, deck isn't, isn't even, a tournament. even good enough. This one, it literally doesn't it literally play by the literally the rules. player you play cheats. Yeah, it literally yeah. is you playing against a deck that's allowed to cheat. Like, they get cards automatically for free played at the beginning of the game, free abilities that activate afterwards that, like, silence all silence and stun all your enemies. It's it's really like it's just it literally is just keep you keep rolling dice until you win. Well, yeah, the the hex campaign does that all the time in their uh, oh really challenges. Oh yeah, totally. Okay. But um, there's also no that also it includes talent uh, or anything otherwise. Um, a lot of it is deck you know what strategy the AI is going for, so build a deck that can beat that strategy. Even if it gets to do that strategy better than you could do that strategy. You know? No, I I mean, I understand, like, I guess the concept of, you know, oh, yeah, you want to, um, like, I mean, I'm not a big deck builder. That's not yeah, that's fair. the most enjoyable thing. But from my research, I've basically been told there are only two decks that can beat this, and you have to just keep, you have to just keep hitting re concede rematch until you get the right hand. Oh, well, like, that at, might be the case. And I'm like, at that point, that's not really, like, that. that's not this game. That's something completely different. Yeah, that's that sounds kind of dumb. Like, it starts out with a 2-6 relic weapon um, that with you Warcry. then have to, with Warcry. Uh, mm -hmm. And he gets, you know, and then, of course, he always draws perfect lands. We'll see. I actually have a pretty good hand right now, but I know that after I beat his relic weapon, he silences and stuns all of my animal, all of my creatures. <laughs> so, so beat his relic weapon in a way that it doesn't matter too much if you get all your creatures silenced and stunned. I mean, I'll the way I did it was not playing creatures. Yeah, the way the way it happens is he. Um, anyway, he, hey guys, uh, we're we're getting on an airship. Yeah. We, yes. we know that. We already saw Instead, that. we're going to apparently start complaining about a different game. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why. Sorry, it's just it's super frustrating, and I just don't understand sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Wait. What? 
was he at the Corellia Fortress? Um, no. He's, uh, he's Olivert's personal bodyguard. Oh, right, we bumped yeah. into him yeah. after the, uh... No, I, I was talking about Olivert. Um, oh, I was no, yeah. Because he said he met us ten days ago, and I was thinking, it's been way longer than... No, than it was at the, goal. um, the, uh... The board of trust, the board of directors meeting. Okay. Nope, I lost. Yeah. So in case it got lost in the um the the flurry of talk about Eternal, um this is a basically a, a red replica of the high class uh, the high speed top of the line airship from Liberal that it belongs to, um the Liberalian royal family. Any, any idea who this is? Uh, I mean, Nightheart. It's not Nightheart. Of course, you know that voice. <laughs> oh, is it her dad? It's her dad. Hasn't she only met, or hasn't he only met Laura? Like no, out of all those people. No, he met the entire of of Group A in Chapter Five. Reen dueled him. Oh yeah, I forgot about that part. You forgot you forgot about the duel that Reen had. <laughs> yes, that was a fairly unimportant part of Chapter Five. It was certainly not the most memorable, which was you know, Spooky Ghost Castle. Sure. <laughs> Good questions. <laughs> Captain Victor S. Arcade. Oh, yeah, you... Like, what do you expect him to do? Lieutenant a ship? That's true. <laughs> it's not even a naval... It's not even a naval rank. Really? I don't think so. You're right, it's lieutenant. No, that's a British rank. Oh, oh boy. What are you doing here, oh, Patrick? No. Oh yeah, lieutenant is naval, as well. Boom. What was I thinking of? I was thinking of major. Oh okay. Major is just yeah. yeah major is just uh, yeah. Major is just uh, army. Land or land. Then why did they why did they use major in Battlestar Galactica? Because in space, well, for one thing, it's the Marines. Like all all soldiers outside of the Navy are in the Marines. Because no, but um, um, Apollo, who's a pilot, gets demoted to major or promoted well, to major. I mean, presumably he would be Air Force. Yeah, and also, oh, I mean, the sure. Marines. Okay. Remember, every branch of the military has its own pilots and, like, sure, basically, sure. its own Air Force. Oh, I think yeah. something like if the United States Army or if the United States, I think no, it's the the United States Navy is the third or fourth largest Air Force in the world. Or something, or it's like yeah, it's like, like it's by itself. It's a top ten uh, air force, and then like the marines and the army are quite a bit smaller, but they they still have their own their own naval uh, their own air. Clearly, we should still have the air for- air force folded into the army. <laughs> nah, the rivalry's too deep. Can't steal that. Well, we should have never game. split them off. The Constitution says nothing about an air force. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so we called it. Yeah, the the question I was wondering from this was, I was kind of surprised they only brought one because aren't our destinations in opposite directions? You are correct. But remember, it's that... eight, it's eight and five hours by train. This is an airship, right. a high speed airship. Kind of a humongous. Yeah, and... high speed for an airship would probably be, you know. 70 or so miles an hour, probably less. Airships are slow. Yeah. This is a this is a fast airship. They like basically a, went from a high trains speed airship is not planes. that much faster than a train. Um it is in this world. 
Okay. How does it, uh... Like... Or mints. It, it does... Yeah. Like, really, the problem is you shouldn't call it an airship because it doesn't have a gas bag. <laughs> <sighs> well, no, that that's an important part of it. The airship. Why is it the Courageous? Because that's know. its name. 